Much bravado about nothing. Why has the United States pushed out levying tariffs on China's chips till June 2027? We're talking about the AI hardware chips, chips that are critical to the advancement of artificial intelligence for both countries. And there is a race going on. We all know that. The big challenges that are facing United States are it may have somewhat of a chip advantage, but it does not have the infrastructure position that China has of being able to source the amount of current power needed for all the AI applications. So be that as it may, what is going on? We're going to take a look at what is going on inside and we're going to do a deep dive and a request to you to please like this video. If China is ignoring the H20 and H200 chips from NVIDIA, by the way, that H200 sanction was given by the United States after much fanfare as if they were doing China a favor. And now China has said, we don't need them. So what is going on? Is it sourcing it from somewhere else? China is fully capable of doing that. Let's take a quick look using this infographic. And as always, please like this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to our channel. Here we go. Who was Parashurama? who led a life of devotion, dedication and daring. Why did he take birth on the earth? Was it to eradicate corrupt Kshatriya rulers who had become tyrannical and oppressive or was it to bestow daya for the needy? Did the US blink because it has delayed the tariffs on China-made legacy chips too? June 2027. Why is this happening? Well, it is a strategic pause according to people in the Trump administration. The US wants to maintain leverage in ongoing talks without shattering a fragile truce with Beijing. It allows time to assess supply chain impacts. Well, the other interesting thing is why did then China reject H20 and H200 chips from NVIDIA. That means that NVIDIA is going to have a shortfall in its chip sales, which means NVIDIA stock should be falling by at least 15%. That has not happened. Why? That's another interesting story. I don't know the reason for that, but let's take a quick look at what is happening with H20 and H200. China has urged firms like Alibaba and Tencent to stop buying NVIDIA's downgraded H20 chips. Even after US approved the H200, these are powerful chips by the way, uh, in 2025, China is still saying no. The reason is strategic independence. Buying US chips funds the US military technology complex. China doesn't want to do that. In the interim, they want to prefer to just use their own stack called as the red stack and they want to try and see if they can replicate the same functionality using their own hardware. Who are the suppliers of chips for the Chinese companies? Well, is there a Chinese equivalent? Yes. Is it apples for apples? We'll take a look at that. NVIDIA H100 is the global gold standard today and it has 100, let's assume that that is the 100% performance baseline. Does China's chip have more than 100% or less than 100%? Well, the Huawei 910C is the domestic choice in China. It has between 60 to 70% performance of H100. We're not talking about H200, okay? The deep seek factor, Chinese labs, so that means China is there and they are hoping to catch up. By the way, you may have seen an advertisement or a proclamation by China that they have what it takes to build their own version of the ASML fab manufacturing technology company in, in three nanometer or something of that nature. Guys, I have worked in this technology about 10 years ago before I, I was speaking the truth and that was not appreciated, but that's okay. That's that, These things happen at work. What I have seen is it's more of a hit and a miss and even uh, the world leader was sort of trying to get it all together. It's possible that they have figured out a way, but my concern here is these things that uh, sub nanometer or sub 10 nanometer technology is sort of pushing the boundaries of physics. You can't really say that it's going to work consistently or it's going to scale. So we'll wait and see how that goes because people have started using other ways to achieve the same nanometric slimness. So it is not something that I would say it is exactly what is being claimed. But be that as it may, if it is close to that, people can say, okay, fine, 
that's fine enough. Deep seek factor. Chinese labs are optimizing code specifically for Huawei chips breaking Nvidia's CUDA moat. What is a moat? A moat in, in, in technology, especially in hardware, is, is sort of like a literally a moat you build around your technology so people cannot cross that and get access to yours or even to better that. So in this case, CUDA was a technology. I don't remember the name. I used to remember it 15 years ago when Nvidia was just promoting it. Um, this is essentially how to parallelize computing. Okay, so that was the main thing. So that was the CUDA mode that NVIDIA had built. ATI, the competing chipset also had something else. I'm, I'm forgetting that name. That it's okay. NVIDIA won the war and now they are the king of the kingdom. So now what is going to happen next? Well, in 2027, what is expected? There are two separate tech ecosystems evolving. One is the US stack and the other is the red stack of China. Flooding has failed. US strategy to flood the chips in China has not taken off because China has blocked getting the H20s and H200. My gut feeling is that DeepSeek does not even come close to what I'm seeing now in some of the newer AI offerings. And these are not open AI, by the way, viewers. This is not chat GPT. Chat GPT may have been the first one out the gate, but there are others who are probably ahead of chat GPT today. So what happens in 2027? The new tariff date sets the clock for the next major confrontation, but as to who's going to win it, will America be able to ramp up its infrastructure production so that they have the power, the juice, the electricity required to power some of these AI technologies and will these AI companies be around at that point of time? That's the other question. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.